NCAA tournament on this Friday afternoon. Belmont taking on Virginia. Belmont. The Tar Heels on Saturday defeat Middle Tennessee State in their home opener. The undefeated Northwestern Wildcats. But they have yet to play a team as strong as Ohio State. Media exposure for a university via football or basketball can pay financial dividends and impact enrollment, according to some experts. If you look at the university as a house, athletics is the front porch to the house. It's the first thing you see. Athletics is a great way for a college or university to become more nationally known. Being on television every week is much better than having one recruiter who goes to a college recruiter. Fair. The primary form of mass media advertising by universities is through their athletic programs, according to an article in Forbes. Meanwhile, the Wall Street Journal reports the University of Alabama, winner of multiple national titles in recent years, has witnessed enrollment growth of 92% since the year 2000. Here's Alabama professor of sports media, Michael Bruce. As the football team does well, the university's enrollment seems to grow. More benefactors are providing funding for buildings and for the endowment. We've seen tremendous growth since Nick Saban's been on campus. Success can be seen for small schools, too. Belmont University President Bob Fisher reflects on his team facing basketball power Duke. That does get you listed with a lot of other schools. Just the crowd you hang out with there gets you a lot of attention, and that's been good for us. Well, for the sixth time in eight seasons, the Belmont Bruins are in the NCAA tournament field tonight. That brought us a lot of attention and caused people to say, well, who's Belmont? You get a national reach with the NCAA sports. Austin P. State University instructor of sports media Barry Gresham says the school just had its largest freshman class ever after being a Cinderella story during March Madness. That exposure, it was a one and done, a one game against a, a powerhouse Kansas, but making that incredible run during championship week when everyone saw them win the OVC tournament, getting into the big dance first time in eight years, I think that aided in the marketing efforts for the big bump in enrollment. Gresham says basketball teams that were once unknown, like Florida Gulf Coast and George Mason, have netted millions of dollars in free marketing, while Wichita State saw student applications rise 81%. The correlation is there. It's obvious. What else could have changed during that period of time except the national exposure, the run in March Madness? For some, there has always been a wary relationship between academics and athletics, according to Tennessee State University media professor Tommy Boris. I think sometimes people put a little too much emphasis on the whole idea that athletics runs the university because this is what people want. And there is a lot of money involved. Most of that comes from television. And the fact is, if people don't want the product, they're not going to demand more of it. Belmont President Fisher has seen enrollment grow by nearly 5,000. So he says there can be a synergy between athletics and academics. I think there's no doubt that with the right leaderships, and they do put character first, and they do put academics right there with it, and then it's really pretty clear that it can be a huge asset to the university. Vanderbilt Athletic Director David Williams says athletics adds value to a university. In some portion of the world, people know about Vanderbilt for academics. Others know about Vanderbilt for research. And some people know about Vanderbilt because of its athletics. We, the jury, find the defendant, Corey Lamont Beatty, guilty of aggravated rape. Athletics can shine a negative light on the university as well, with notable cases at Baylor, Penn State, SMU, and at Vanderbilt. Williams discusses the aftermath of when some of his football players were involved in a rape. Count one, we find Mr. Vanderberg guilty of aggravated rape. We do everything we can to make sure that we try to identify character integrity in the young people we bring in. But just like everything else, sometimes people get in here and they do things that you don't think they will do and you don't support them doing. Boris and Williams agree, saying athletics is such an important part of American life. I think athletics gives students, alums, and people who are just interested in that school a reason to go back to that place. Some people may only hear about Vanderbilt because we beat Georgia. So it is a big responsibility because we know we're on the front page. Whether it's name recognition or the free publicity they get from their team's national exposure, Universities across the country know that athletic success has its way of trickling down to all departments. We've seen it all career long. Hello, America. Craig Bradshaw could play. I'm Terry Likes. You're listening to Tennessee Matters on the Tennessee Radio Network.